Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to look at some advanced privacy settings in Firefox. Uh, Firefox is already great for privacy but the real power sits behind the address bar in something called about config. Today we'll unlock it together and change a handful of advanced settings that stop IP leaks, block silent network calls and choke off fingerprinting tricks. Stick with me and in about 10 minutes you'll have a browser that's dramatically harder to track. What about config is in the one safety rule? Type into your address bar about colon config and hit enter. Uh, proceed with caution, accept the risk and continue. This is where Firefox keeps its advanced preferences. We'll only touch privacy settings that are safe to change, but always be careful. Changing the wrong setting can sometimes affect how websites behave. Okay, so first off, we're going to kill the biggest leak, WebRTC. Uh, WebRTC, or Web Real-Time Communication, lets sites create direct audio, audio or video connections, but it can leak your real IP address even through a VPN. So first, let's search for media.peer connection dot enabled now this is set to true we're going to toggle it to false so over at the right hand side if you click the toggle button it will change to false what this does it disables web rtc connections so websites can't sneak around your vpn to see your real ip just to note some video chat sites like google meet or discord may stop working if you need those, you can temporarily toggle it back on to true. Okay, so next we want to stop background DNS and link prefetching. Uh, Firefox sometimes looks up website addresses in advance trying to speed things up, but this can leak your browsing behavior to your DNS provider. So here's how to stop it. First, we're going to search for network.dns dot disable prefetch now this will be set to false uh, we want to toggle the switch and turn this to true um, next we want to go back to the search and we want to clear everything in the search field and we want to search for network dot prefetch dash next uh, this will be set to true. We want to toggle this to false. And what this does, it prevents Firefox from making hidden DNS queries or preloading pages you never asked for. It's a great step for privacy. Next, we're going to strip dangerous headers, referrer control. Now, let's control how much information your browser sends about where you come from. This is called the referrer header. So we're going to search for network dot http dot refer dot x origin policy so you will see network http refer x origin policy and that is set to zero so what we want to do is click the pencil icon and we're going to change that to the number two and then click save. Next, we are going to look for the network HTTP referrer X origin trimming policy. So we want to change this to X origin trimming policy. And once you find it, network HTTP refer x origin trimming policy we also want to change the value to 2 and then click save and what this does x origin policy 2 means firefox will only send a referrer the previous page you come from if you're staying on that same website x origin trimming policy 2 strips out extra path information even when a referrer is sent giving away less data this significantly reduces the breadcrumbs you leave behind. 
Okay, so now we're going to activate Firefox's built-in fingerprint shield. Trackers love fingerprinting, combining little details about your screen size, fonts, hardware to build a unique ID. Mozilla ships a defense, but it's off by default. So we're going to search for privacy. Dot resist fingerprinting and you will see privacy dot resist fingerprinting is set to false we want to set this to true and what this does this makes firefox act more uniformly reducing the unique data points trackers use to identify you firefox also adds letterboxing subtle gray bars that standardize window size so sizing data can't id you Sites may show slightly thicker scroll bars, but that's normal. All right, so in this section, we are looking at first party isolation, uh, cut cookie sharing. To stop cookies and cache jumping between sites, we turn off first party isolation. So search for privacy dot first party dot isolate. And privacy first party dot isolate, this will be set to false. Uh, we are going to toggle this and turn it to true. And what this will do, each website now gets its own separate cookie jar. Advertisers can't easily stitch together your visits across different sites or build a profile on you. All right, so we're almost done now. Uh, we are just going to look at the extra telemetry and pocket off switch. So Firefox collects some anonymous usage stats and ships an optional reading list service called Pocket. They're not inherently bad, but if you want zero background chatter, we're going to search now for toolkit dot telemetry dot enabled. Uh, if this is set to true, you, know, you want to select it and change it to false and then next we just want to clear out the search field and search for extensions dot pocket dot enabled and if this is set to true you want to make sure that it's set to false and what these do uh, these stop Firefox from sending any usage data back to Mozilla and disable the pocket integration, reducing external connections. All right, so to recap the power moves you just made, we disabled WebRTC leaks, silenced background DNS and link prefetch, trimmed referrers, activated anti-fingerprinting, anti isolated cookies, and shut off extra telemetry. Okay, folks, so that's it. You've hardened Firefox through using the about config. Uh, I will leave links in the description below and if you found the video useful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, it would really help us out. Uh, bye for now and see you in the next one.